Hi guys, Beaver here, and welcome to the first episode of Landlord Super. You're probably thinking, Beaver, what on earth is Landlord Super? And yep, yeah, I know you are, so I'm going to go ahead and explain. Landlord Super is kind of like the British version of My Summer Car. If you've ever played that, you'll know that, yeah, My Summer Car is about building your own car. And this is pretty similar to that, except it's set in the United Kingdom, it's set in the 80s, and you build houses instead of cars. So yeah, I've been waiting for the free build update because it's added a lot of things that were uh, most wanted. And basically, you can now design and build the house from the ground up, which is so wonderful to have. Like before you were stuck on like a single floor bungalow and it was kind of, yeah, very constricted and one. You don't have much freedom. So anyway, that's now added. You can now build staircases and additional floors. So yeah, you can now have multiple floors in your house. That's good. They've added curtains, the hot bar, new brick singles, paneling, and much, much more. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it, shall we? So I do hope you're well, happy Wednesday, and this is the second video of the day. So yeah, uh, we're not producing anything, not making anything, we're just a nation of shopkeepers really. Steel's gone, just completely the cupboard, it's gone. Makes me sad for the human race, really. Okay. This is new, haven't seen this before. Britain in the 1980s was headed in a radical new direction. So yeah, set in the 80s, somewhere up north, I believe it's called Sheffingham. Uh, your father's immigration documents reached for displaced persons. Okay. And just let this do its thing. Wonderful. And if you walk to the door, there we go, daily post. Wonderful. Right. I think there's some sort of bug with this version. If we go back to the options in the video, yeah, it's not really... Oh, that's all set though, but it keeps defaulting it for some reason. Just make sure this is all back to where it should be. That's all good. I'll go back. And the audio music off, because we don't want to get copyright strikes. There we are, and make sure the effects are on, and the dialogue mumble is on. Save. Wonderful. Right. So, before we go any further, a little disclaimer here. This is a adult game. There is swearing, uh, public urination, alcohol consumption. So, yeah. If this isn't for you, or you'd rather not see that, or you're under the age of 18, and you're worried that your parents are gonna not be happy with you, then you're more than welcome to skip this series, I understand. There's gonna be plenty of other appropriate content coming out, like police simulator patrol officers and whatnot. So yeah, if this isn't for you, then I understand. You're more than welcome to skip this series, but there will still be plenty of other appropriate content, I can assure you. So with that disclaimer out of the way, let's get started, because there's someone trying to break into our lot. And before we do that, let's pick up the uh, right to buy. So yes, we are Mr. HBF. We have just been informed that our right to buy application was improved. Wonderful. And we now owe £5,000. Yay. We now have keys to the construction site. Wonderful. And the notebook has been added to your top pocket. However, the HUD is still not there. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort it out now. There we are. Wonderful. Right. Uh, I'll just quickly check that out. Awesome. So, let's go and speak to this guy. So this is Jimmy. Scouse Jimmy. Uh, he's going to be a very important part of our story later on, but I won't spoil it for you. But anyway, we'll go and speak to him. Sod off, will you? You appear to be trying to break into my site. Look here, our kid. I got here first. You can come and get your little bit after I'm done. Besides, if this is your site, then you'd have the key, wouldn't you? Hey, you really do have the key. Ah, blimey, kidder. I was only trying to find a bit of scrap to sell. You know how hard it is after the pit closed. Ain't much work about, like. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. So, you doing this place up or something? You uh, wouldn't happen to have any work, would you? You look a little green. I could show you the ropes, like. I'd love some help, but I can't really afford to pay you. 
Ah, that's what I thought like. Never mind, eh? You look like a good kid. Tell you what, you need any help with anything? You come and see me over in the Anchor Tavern in Sheffingham. Yeah, so it was Sheffingham. I was right. Name's Jimmy, but people call me Scouser. Yeah, he's a Scouser. He comes from Liverpool. Uh, that's a, a nickname for them, if you're not familiar with the United Kingdom. So, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, kid. Like I said, Anchor Tavern, if you need anything. Like, half the town, I'm in there most days. Anyway, I'm out of here. Toodaloo. Right, so yeah, that's Jimmy. And uh, let's look at our notebook. So if we uh, jump down to Sheffingham Tasks, yeah, we've got Speech to Jimmy and Renovate the Property. Wonderful. So, let's uh, make sure that's all good, which it is. Uh, we have no money, but oh look, there still happens to be a TV here that we can borrow. So we'll take this with us, because we are going to go and pay someone a little visit. So we'll just run around here, hopefully we don't get killed. Because I would like to not die. And as you can see, this is very My Son Makari. It's got that vibe about it. Oh! My! Don't want to get killed. Oh! I'm completely running all over the place. Yeah, everything's very, very British. So if you're not familiar with the UK, then you're going to kind of struggle with this one. Anyway, let's uh, go and uh, pick this up and drop it off. So yeah, anything you want to sell, you just drop off on this tarpaulin and... Okay, let's go and meet Totter. Hey, Totter. Way I. Now, here's a gadget I've never seen before. Name's Totter, and this old bonny lad next to me is Sixpence. Yeah, that's our horse, Sixpence. We're scrap merchants. You might have heard of me blaring my horn each morning. Sorry about that, but a lass has got to make a living somehow. Yeah, yeah. Talking of, if you've got any scrap to sell, just plonk it down on the tarpaulin next to me, pet. Then we can talk about Christ. So, yeah, like I said, you just pump it on on there, and then she'll give you a price. Anyway, belt in to see a new face. We don't get many in tune these days. Right, so. <laughs> if I remember rightly. There, there he is. Good old homeless man. What's his name? I think it's like uh, Nottingham or something. Ah, Darby. That was a joke, by the way. I actually remembered his name. What's up? You want something, dude? No, goodbye. Goodbye. Is that the concept of good really appropriate when talking about the end of something? Man. Mr. Negative, aren't you? You know what? For that, dude, I am going to take your chest of drawers. Yeah. Gone from law enforcement to theft. Brilliant, Beaver. Huh? Just brilliant. Right, let's put that there. Do you know what? I'm having your bed as well. <laughs> I'm such a scumbag. Beaver, you're not a scumbag. Yeah, you're probably thinking that. And where is it? The chair. Wonderful. So... Let's just make sure that's totally on there, otherwise Totter won't give us anything for it. There we are. Totter, how much for this, love? Here's a deep then, our pet. 24.50 for the lot. Can you do that? Yeah, that sounds fair. Belton, here you go. Wonderful. Right, how much money do we have? 24.50! Yay! Right. See you later, Darby. Right, we're out of here. Let's close that. Bye bye, Totter. Can we wave? Oh, I don't know. No, no, no. I've got nothing. Goodbye. <laughs> Shy Barnes. No, now, don't you forget. Right, I'm thinking we can wave. Ah, oh, here's the horse. Yeah, let's just pat the horse. Good boy. Right, we're out of here. Uh, oh, would help if you actually shut the gate the right way, Beaver. Always polite to shut the gate. Now, behind her. Yeah, we are. West Birklands, you know, because they can't call it the West Midlands, because, you know, for copyright reasons. So, yeah, we're in West Birklands. Uh, what we got here? So yeah, if you hover over something, you can uh, see how much it's worth. 20 pence? Nah. What's this? Looks like a table leg. 25 pence? What do they give me all this rubbish for? Oh look, there's another TV over here. Brilliant. I'll have that. How much is that worth? 10 pound? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, let's just uh, drop that there for a moment while we open that. Like a glove. There we are. Cool. Uh, oh, Beaver, you're an idiot. <laughs> Just put it there, I didn't even talk to her to get paid for it. Hey, Tar. How much for this, love? Gives a deep then, our pet. Ten pounds, yeah, sounds fair. Belton. So yeah, basically, this is how you make your money in the beginning, because obviously you're skint, aka broke, to all the uh, other people in the world. I don't know what that means, that's basically a slang word for being... Uh, penniless, not having any money. So yeah, we don't have any money. 
So now we're going to go into the job center and we're going to take that and we're going to take that. Now watch this, there's going to be someone out here. Here he is. Here he is, look. Good old Winston. Mm, Oi! That's my job, that is. Whoa, hold fire, are you that desperate? Mm. I'm about one more unemployment payment away from slinking scrap piles with Jimmy. You gotta help me out, man. Uh, hmm. What are you gonna give me for it? Give you? This ain't town market, son. I'll give you a punch on the nose trying to shake me down. <gasps> Hard man. <laughs> right. Uh, what are you gonna give me for it? Come on. You gotta give me something. Uh, boozer for you, pal. This is my job. Bah. Well, if by Simpson chumps you grow a heart, come back and talk to me. Laters, man. Right, so he's going to probably now go and go to the pub. So, yeah, we really need to speak to little Reggie Ronson now about that. Ah, now's not a good time, I'm afraid. The store's shut. I'm here about the job. You? All right, then. You got a clean license? Uh, no. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Yeah. So, that's a no, then. Can't I without a license, kid? Sorry. How about you do me a favor and find me someone who can? A. Eh? I'll make it worth your time. So basically, yeah, we have to give the job to poor old Winston is in the bus, um, in the bus stop? In here, yeah, pub, I was looking at the bus stops, made me want to think of bus stop. Beaver, this isn't the bus. Right, let's, uh, get ourselves a shovel, because I know we need that. Uh, where are we? There we are, shovel. We need one of them. 899, yeah, I love that. Wonderful. And we will take that. See you later. Put that down. There we are. Right, we'll pick that up. What is the time? 11 o'clock. Uh, yeah, the pub don't open till 12. So, uh, we'll dump that there. Because I know for a fact... Yeah, here we are. It's another TV. So, yeah, very important in the early game. This is how you make your money. So, you have to go around and uh, pick up things that you find on the floor. Yeah, it's kind of a bit grindy, but... Uh, all's well that ends well and it pays good as well if you pick up a couple of these tvs that's 10 pound a pop so yeah hey totter how much for that one probably another tenner 10 pound for that yeah sounds fair belting here you go cheers totter right shut that there we are how are we 11 30 wonderful so yeah, we're gonna go and meet old tamsin in a minute and uh go and see winston see if there's anything else around here that's worth anything yeah, these things are heavy for some reason. It's one pound. Uh, what about that? Four pound? Yeah, go on in. <laughs> We're literally just acting like a homeless man right now, picking up everything we see. Once again, drop that there. <laughs> uh, yeah, how much for all this then? Four quid? Sounds fair. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. Belt in, here you go. Right. Oh, look, 10 to midday. Right, let's go to that pub. Dee 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 dee. Right, we all wait. 11.56, 11.57, 11.58, 11.59, and good afternoon, people. There we are. Hey, Tamsin, how you doing? What's all this then? A new face in the anchor? Mary Jesus, I don't believe my eyes. You best not be one of all them dossers now, you hear? We've got plenty of them lying about the place. No, don't worry, I'm not here to cause trouble, Tamsin. Anyway, what can I do for you? What you serving? Well, on draw, we've got your land on the door. What will it be? And nothing just yet, love. I'll be gone with you now. <gasps> That's so rude. Very rude. Anyway, let's go speak with Winston. You alright, pal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, what you after? Come the gloat. Yeah, first time, first serve in this game, kid. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you what? You're gonna get it now. <gasps> you naughty man. You just swung at us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, what you're out? Yeah, let, mm. just, just give him yeah, the job. Yeah. Let's just give him the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you bet you. Driving is my bread and butter. You ain't gonna regret this. Thanks a bunch, pal. What are you, John McClane? Ah, okay, right, anyway. That's that done. See you later, Tamsin. Right, let's uh, be a good person and uh, close the door on our way out. Ooh! Without closing myself in, preferably. There we are, wonderful. Right, now let's go and speak to uh, Reggie Ronson. Hey, up, you're the fella that helped Winston out, right? Yes, I am, and that's me. 
Well, you've also done me a big favour there, mate. I was desperate for a driver. Couldn't make deliveries without one. Talking of, I sent Winston over to that plot of land you got. He's dropping off a skip as a thank you. You fill that thing up each day with any junk and we will empty it for you. So yeah, basically, at the end of each day, they'll empty that and uh, give us money. So that's really helpful. No need for thanks. Like I said, you helped me out massively. Oh, you here for anything in particular? Take a look through this. Hey, it's a pie catalogue. Wonderful. Right. Here's my shovel. Let's get back home. I'll say home. It's more like a caravan, isn't it? So yeah, I do like the um little sound effects. It's really good. Any hoop, let's drop that off. Hello, Winston, buddy. How you doing? Hey, up, man. Look, I know we had a little falling out or whatever, but you've really helped me out here, so thanks a bunch, man. The skips should be unloaded already, but so you've got an idea of how this works, just tell me when you're done, and I'll head back to the supply store. Once I'm back, you can make more deliveries. You don't even need to visit the store. You can just call us on that phone box over there. Yeah, so basically, this is in the 18th, so everything is done by ordering via phone and catalogue, you know? I get pied over where, but once 1900, aka 7 pm, in the UK we call it 1900, 24 hour clock and all, but yeah, that's 7 pm for everyone else. So once 7 pm rolls around, I'll clock off and you're on your own. Anyway, thanks again. Feels real good to be back in steady work. Cheers, pal. Right, so he's gonna go now. So yeah, let's pick up our, um, our shovel. And I'll open that. There we are. So we'll go pop. <laughs> Yeah, and as you can see on the top right, every time you do that, it drains your energy a little bit. So yeah, we'll just uh, pop all this out. Make sure we get everything here. And got that one there. Wonderful. Right, so we'll just throw it out there for now. Do you want to know a nice little chip tip with a skip? If you jump in it, things are won't go walkabouts. Because if you're not in it properly, or you're not stood on the edge, things are just going to fall over and uh, yeah. It's uh, really annoying to get them back in, so <clears throat> some things are too heavy, so you've got no choice but to really uh, throw them in. But yeah, I think we're about out of energy, so we'll pick up this one. How are we doing? 17%. <clears throat> uh, 15.8. Yeah, we're going to die in a minute, probably. So we'll uh, get this done ASAP, and then we will uh, go and sleep, I think. Now, it would help if I could actually see where I'm doing. There we are. <clears throat> I think that's enough before we pass out. So yeah, that has been the first look of Landlord Super. So we'll just close that door. And yeah, anywho guys, I do hope you enjoyed that one. And until next time, take care.